everyone, so today I am doing a slightly different video to normal because I haven't done this type of video in almost two years, which is a really, really long time. As you can tell by the title, it's an empties video. I've got my empties here. I haven't collected these in so long and I found that all around the same time I ran out of loads of things and I decided to keep them in this very cute pretty little pouch which I have no idea where this came from but it's adorable. I've just realised how nice it is and then that I'm basically keeping it to store rubbish in. Moving on, so I thought that I would store my empties in here and I'm not going to do these all the time because I tend to use the same products over and over and over especially with skincare and they're the things that get used up really really quickly. So I'm basically going to do empties now whenever they're there are a group of empty products that I want to talk about that I haven't talked about before or talked about very much. So for example, the products that feature in here, unless I want to update you on something, they will not feature in an empties video again. Got it? Good. So the first item is the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel and this is my all time favorite cleansing gel. It is just the shiz. I love it. I think that it works on so many different skin types because there are so many people I know who love this who have a completely different skin type to me and completely different requirements for what their skin needs and it works on all of us and we all love it. It also smells really good and it's pink which I really like. <laughs> However the lid does tend to retain water for a very long time and it just went all over my bed. The next two products are actually very similar. I have the Origins Vita Zinc SPF 15 Energy Boosting Moisturiser and then the Perfect Look Skin Miracle by This Works. These are both lovely lightweight bases. If I had to pick one, I think I would pick the This Works Perfect Look Skin Miracle because it doesn't have SPF, which means I can use it as a kind of day base and then I can put a night out base over the top and not worry about the SPF or anything like that. And then I get to choose my own SPF that I use underneath, which is quite nice. This one also smells delicious, like the best thing I've ever put on my face ever. And I think in terms of cost, this one is slightly cheaper. I will do the maths and put that in the description box just to make sure I'm not talking out my ass. However, this one is still lovely and it's got a much more dewy finish. So if you have dry skin, this one is the one to go for. And then I've got a little really cringy his and hers moisturizer duo going on here. I use the Origins Make a Difference Plus Moisturiser because it's so hydrating, really good for dehydrated skin but also good for dry patches, it does a bit of everything. And my boyfriend uses the Origins Ginseng Moisturiser, he likes the smell, he likes the consistency, it doesn't leave him greasy at all because he does not like having shiny skin. I like to call it dewy skin, he likes to call it shiny skin, he does not like that so he loves this moisturiser. I think he's gone through about three or four of these and I've gone through about three or four of these. We are a weirdly obsessed with Origins couple. <laughs> Then we have one of my all-time favourite skincare items. This is the Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Hydrating Booster. This stuff is awesome. I have really uh, <laughs> I have really dehydrated skin. I am the first one to put my hands up and say I don't drink enough water. I just forget. I'm really lazy. I can't be bothered to walk to the tap which is awful. <laughs> but this really does a very good job of plumping my skin back up and just making it look a lot more fresh and glowy and gorgeous. And if I had to repurchase any one serum for the rest of my life, it would be this because it's beautiful. And my final empty is the NYX Rev de Miel Lip Balm, which I have talked about about two billion times. So I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. It's a matte lip balm, I was about to say lip gloss. Matte lip balm, it smells like honey and all sorts of lovely things. It's just beautiful. Yeah, honey just, just smells nice. I've gone through four of these in the past two years and it does equate to one every six months, which is great because by the time I've used one up, I have five pounds to spend on my Space NK and Dulge points and I end up getting it for four pounds instead of nine. So it's kind of bargain delicious when you think about it like that, but not really because of the spending in Space NK. But anyway, <clears throat> I love this. I use so many of these and it's brilliant. So if you have really dry lips, I would definitely recommend this. So that is it for my empties. I'm sorry that was a bit rushed. I have a load of building works going on, right? there and it gets a bit noisy so I've had to kind of make this a bit short and sweet but I hope you guys don't mind. I'm sure you've seen me ramble on in depth about all of these anyway and if I have any reviews I will link them up in the description box below. But thank you so much for watching, I hope you're all having a lovely day where you are and you enjoyed having a route around my empty products aka the rubbish. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!